Hi everyone! So today we are joined by Oreo and later we will be joined by Luna, one of my cats. Kasi today we will be discussing the things that you need when you are camping with your pets. Harap ka sa camera! <laughs> Alright, so for the first item on our list, it's of course a pet collar with a proper pet tag. The one that we have here is by Easy Dog and the reason why I like this one is number one, it's very durable. Halos lahat ng makikita niyong items na ipapakita ko today are from Easy Dog. This is not a sponsored video, pero I just really love their products. So, ito yung collar na, ano matawag dito? Parang nylon siya. I, I, I'm not sure. May foam siya, which is very uh, soft and comfortable for your pet. And the reason why I love this one is because it dries very quickly. So, may quick dry material siya. And it's very important for us to have this kasi number one, we love to go swimming sa beach, sa river, sa lake. When we're out camping, tapos, uh, most of the time, pinapaliguan namin si Oreo dun din sa campsite kung nasan kami bago kami umuwi. So, ito, maganda siya kasi yun nga, ang bilis niya matuyo, tapos hindi siya nangangaboy. Kasi alam niyo yung mga tela na na pagka pagka nabasa, tapos hindi natuyo kagad or hindi natuyo ng maayos, hindi na paarawa, nangangamoy kulob, or basta hindi siya mabango. So, ito, wala kami problems with that. Another thing that I like about this one is that, yun nga, matibay siya. May reflector siya na kahit nasa totoo lang, hindi naman siya nakikita sa balahibo ni Oreo kasi sobrang kapal. Pero, it has a sturdy uh, hardware dito and may lalagyanan siya nung uh, pet tag niya. So, the pet tag that we have here is by My Family. So, available to sa Pet Express. Now, the reason why it's important for you to have a pet tag is of course, uh, in case lang na mawala yung inyong pet na wag naman sana, na on wood, uh, you'll have your details engraved on it and kung may nakahanap man sa pet ninyo, they know how and where to reach you. Yung pet tags na ganito, it's available in any Pet Express uh, branch. Uh, meron silang parang ano nila, yung sarili nila na generic lang na ganito, yung bakal na pwede mo pa-engrave sa kanila. All my cats have that. Pero for Oreo who is always going outside with us sa mga ganyan na outdoors, mas kailangan na yung durable. So this is the one that is branded. Ito yung My Family. So it's made in Italy, gold-plated siya. And mas makapal siya than dun sa regular. The regular one, we also have it sa ibang harness niya. I'll show it to you later. Mas manipis lang siya dito. Ito mas, mas mukhang matibay siya, mas mabigat siya ng konti. And I also have this one for my cat. So I'll just bring... Luna in. This is Luna. So, uh, she's just one of my many cats. And, uh, ito, as you can see, meron din siya nung collar and meron siya nung uh, tag, yung pet tag. Uh, yung collar niya is from Z-Cat. So, ano siya? Uh, maganda siya eh, kasi if you buy it, parang may proceeds that goes to the feeding of mga street animals. So, I support them. Kaya lahat ng cats ko, naka Z-Cat collar. Meron din sila for dogs. And I like this one kasi, <laughs> ang cute eh, watermelon design siya. Ayan, she's scared. So, um, with Luna naman, you can also opt to have a harness para sa kanila. So, we have a cat harness I got from Shopee. May kasama na siyang leash. So, medyo, ano naman siya, sturdy. Put it over sa head. Tusot niyo yung mga... Ano niya? Front paws. There. Ganyan siya. Tapos isikipan mo lang. Here you go. Siyempre si Oreo sumising it. <laughs> Ayan. So, voila. You have a cat harness na may bell. So, ayan. May leash din siya. Sorry, hindi nyo siya masyado makita kasi nakaset na yung camera dyan. But, pag namamasyal nga kayo sa mall, pwede mo rin tong ganyan hawa. Kasi usually cats prefer to be held up like this. So, this is the way cats want to be carried around. By times na ayaw nila, so, tatakbo sila, tatanong sila away from you. So, having a harness like this actually helps. The thing with cats, they love to explore more than dogs, actually, I've noticed. And that is the reason why 
a uh, great number of cats actually nawawala usually kasi nalilig madali silang maligaw kasi sobra silang mag-explore so uh, the tip that i would give you guys is to keep your cats in a harness na lang just to be safe especially if um very curious sila sa mga bagong surroundings which most cats are. If you're asking kung saan naman sila dudumi kasi they're not like dogs na they can just do their business anywhere, uh, what I do when I travel with cats is meron akong dalang uh, batsya. Tapos, dun ko nilalagay yung cat litter. The thing with uh, cats kasi is they love to dig a hole tapos uh, dun sila dudumi. Magna number one or magna number two. Tapos, tatakpan nila yun, di ba? But, in new surroundings, it takes a while for them to, ano, to adapt dun sa kanilang mga surroundings. So, uh, sometimes, if, if, ano, as in, talagang, they're gonna hold it in if it's not a good place for them na they don't feel safe. So, uh, what I do yun nga, may patsya ako. Sanay kasi sila sa cat litter. So, if may cat litter sila, uh, yun, medyo familiar sa kanila yon yung amoy, yung texture. So, kahit na iba yung lalagyanan niya, pero it's cat litter. So, that's where they do their business. Plus, may support. Diba? Oh my God! Amutod ka ba? Ang baho mo. Apart from collars, so, ako, gusto ko talaga na nakaharness yung aking pet. So, these ones, pareho pa rin siya by Easy Dog. I swear, hindi talaga siya sponsored na video. So, yung kay Easy Dog, ito, um, dalawang klaseng harness siya. Why? Because, ito yung quick harness nila. Quick and easy harness. And I really like this one kasi, isusuksok mo lang siyang ganun sa ulo. Hindi ko siya ma-demo right now kasi nakahiga si Oreo. Tapos, ikiklip mo lang siya and then, that's it. So, the reason why it's quick and easy, ganun. Suot mo lang siya sa ulo, clip mo lang siya, and you have a harness already. Ang maganda rin dito kasi meron siyang ganito, yung hawakan. So, in case na you need to pull your dog away from something or kailangan mo lang siyang i-guide somewhere, may ganito siyang hawakan. Plus, um, ayun nga, na chest support siya. So, hindi masasakal yung inyong aso. Another harness that I have here is this one. The reason why I have two harnesses is because ito, Dito lang namin siya ginagamit pag dito kami sa bahay. Pero when we're out camping, ito yung ginagamit namin because ito natatakasan niya. If you have a husky, alam mo yan, as in, sobrang galing nilang tumakas out of anything. Yung harness na to natatakasan niya. But this one, hindi niya to kaya. So this one is the breast harness or chest harness ng Easy Dog. Uh, when we use this one, ito, mas hassle nga lang siyang ilagay, pero mas secure siya. And this one is very durable. It can last you forever. As in, like, yung gawa niya, makikita niyo talaga yung quality ng tahi niya. Ang Easy Dog products, hindi sila ganun ka kamura, pero sobrang durable. As in, I can attest to that. Sobrang durable nila. Another type of harness that you can have is this one. So, ito yung parang, ayan, parang satchel type siya. So, it depends on you kung anong klaseng camping ba or trip yung ginagawa niyo. So, for example, if you like to go hiking with your pet or backpacking trip siya na limited lang yung mga items na dadalhin ninyo, uh, mas maganda yung ganito. Kasi at least ito, nalalagyan mo siya ng gamit. Pwede nilang bitbitin kung ano man yung gamit nila. So, Hindi na ako yung magbibitbit ng gamit for you. Ikaw magbibit ng mga gamit mo. <laughs> of course, the next item would be a leash. So, yung leash that I have, ito talaga hindi ko na ito kayang palitan. As in, sobrang love ko to. Again, from Easy Dog. <laughs> so, this I think is called the Runner's Leash. May mga ibang brands naman na ganito. Pero for us, since medyo mas malaki lang yung pet namin and mahilig siyang manghatak, uh, pinipili talaga namin yung Easy Dog kasi nga, yun, try the tested matibay. Pero if you have a smaller breed or yung aso ninyo e eh, behave na hindi naman masyadong nag nagpupul, uh, may mga ganito na types of leash sa Shopee or sa Lazada na sa waist din siya nilalagay. So, hands-free leash siya. Kasi ito, itong part na to, it goes on your waist. Tapos, ito na yung sa aso ninyo. So, you're free to do whatever kasi wala na kayong hinahawakan. Tapos, kahit maghatak man sila, nakakabit sila sa may bewang mo na may, syempre, may, may leverage ka ng konti para to prevent them from going to, to places. So, this is really, really nice uh, leash to have. Next item would be, of course, foldable doggy bowls. So, the one that we have here is the silicone one. So, ayan. Ganyan siya. Now, the reason why I like 
this one is unang-una because silicone nga siya. Madali siyang linisin. Second is, it's very light. It folds flat. So, kaya mo siya malagay anywhere. <laughs> Kasi flat nga siya. It folds flat like this, like a disc. So, it doesn't take up that much space. As yun nga, magaang pa siya. Meron silang mga doggy bowls. Meron actually yung Easy Dog and your Rough Wear. Meron sila nung parang fabric yung material niya. But, I don't like it kasi nung tinignan ko pa lang siya, parang feeling ko mahirap siya linisin. I don't know. Parang for me, mas madaling linisin yung mga ganito, yung mga silicone na, na bowl. Next item, of course, would be a doggy bed or a doggy tent or for your cats, kung saan man sila tatambay. Yun yun, yung, yun yung basic concept of this next item. So, it depends on you. So, some pet owners, they like uh, using mga pet mats or uh, mga blankets. And with others, they like to use yung mga pet cot. Yung mga cots na may paa because they don't like their pets getting dirty. Ayaw nilang marapit sa sahig. So, gusto nila elevated. But in our case, um, ayaw kasi ni Oreo ng ganon, yung pet cot. We tried it before ayaw niya. So, nakahanap kami ng cute na play pen na tent from HMR. And it's very effective because I know si Oreo kaya niyang tumakas pero he prefers not to. It's a good uh, space. It's a good spacious tent for a uh, dog. And, yun nga, mahangin siya. Press ko siya. And all we do is just put a cooling mat or a cooling pad na nabibili rin siya sa Pet Express doon sa loob ng tent. Doon siya pwede humiga kung mainit man. And that leads us to our next item. Dog clothes or pet clothes. So, when you go camping, make sure that your dog is comfortable and protected. And huwag nyo siyang damitan ng mga pampakute or forma lang. Siguro pag nag na lang kayo, if that's your thing. But when you are out camping, ang pinaka-suggestion ko sa inyo is to bring clothing for them that would be beneficial for them and will help protect them. So, with us, yun nga, since mainit, we are in a tropical country and we have a husky na sanay sa malamig, gusto lagi naka-aircon, lagi siya naiinitan. So, this is a cooling vest from True Love. So, I got this tip from pet owners who likes to go camping na usually naka-husky din sila or yung aso nila yung mga mababalahibo na madaling mainitan. This comes in different sizes. So, pag masyadong mainit, all you have to do is just pour cold water dito. Kahit yung ice tubig, yellow, na natunaw, ganyan. Basain nyo lang to. As in, make sure na thoroughly wet siya. Tapos isuot ninyo sa pet ninyo. Or, if for example, you are located near a water source, like a river or a lake, ganyan. Lubog nyo lang to. Make sure it's drenched. Tapos isuot ninyo sa dog ninyo. And instantly, makakatulong yun sa kanila. Trust me. So, medyo pricey lang to. Pero it's 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 a good product to have since, yun nga, we are located in a tropical country. May, mainit talaga. And may ganito siya na pwede na rin siyang para mag-serve as a harness. Pagka uminit na uli, all you have to do is just squeeze out yung water. Kung nari uminit na siya kasi suot-suot niya, ba Uminit na siya, squeeze out nyo lang yung water. Lagyan nyo ulit ng panibagong tubig. Suot nyo ulit sa kanila. And it helps cool them. Down. Another type of pet clothing you guys should have is this one. So, ito yung Rash Guard ni Oreo. So, also from Easy Dog. So, yung Rash Guard, it helps protect their skin. Kasi especially for us, yung, yung husky namin, makapalman balahibo nila. Pero the thing why you cannot shave them actually is kasi wala silang pigment under their fur. So, when we go out and mainit, kunwari beach, ganyan. We make sure na may rash guard siya kasi it helps protect their skin. Tapos mahilig din siya kasi to go swimming with us. Makes it easier for us to spot where he is. Kasi as you can see, ayan, sumisigaw yung orange niya. The next item would be a dog, doggy glasses, goggles. Ano ba tawag sa kanya? Shades? Ganyan. This one is the go pet goggle from Gigapet. So, it helps protect yung mata ng aso ninyo. Baka you might think na, ba't pa kailangan yan? Ganyan. Sa totoo lang, pagka nasa campsite kayo na sobrang mainit, nahihirapan din sila and it does damage their eyes. Especially if, for example, yung aso ninyo, yung yung either, kunwari mga pug, shih tzu, na medyo mas luwa yung mata. And it did happen. Um, ang shih tzu, prone sila na mabulag when they get older. And one of the reasons why is because you don't give them protection from the sun. 
So, kung tayo nga yung mata natin, nadadamage tayo by UV light, but more din sa mga alaga natin. Another item that you may want to have if, if tulad sa amin na mahilig kayong mag-swimming uh, is a doggy uh, life jacket. So, meron din kami life vest. Uh, actually, ano siya kasi sa, ano siya sa box namin ng mga pang-swimming pang namin. But I'll just flash it here. Tapos I'll just link down there kung ano yung ginagamit namin ni Oreo in yellow. So that's something that is also very useful if you like to go swimming with your pets. Next item natin would be to bring um, a pet shampoo or a waterless wash. So yung pet shampoo namin, since malaki yung bottle niya, we just transfer it to a smaller bottle. Tapos dinadala namin yon when we're out camping. Kasi yun nga, there would be times na kailangan namin siya linisin or paliguan pag nandun. Yun nga, pag nag-swimming kami, pinapaliguan namin siya doon. So, may dala kaming uh, shampoo. Pero if you want yung quick clean lang, I suggest to get this product. So, I'll just show it here. Nabibili ito sa Bowen Wow. So, ito, we've had this since he was a puppy. Uh, if kailangan nyo lang siyang linisin ng mabilisan or nangangamoy siya, <laughs> All you have to do is just spray this all over, brush nyo siya, or ganun-ganun nyo siya sa kanya, i-spread nyo lang sa fur niya, malinis na yon, mabango na yon, malakas yung amoy niya, and yeah, it's it's a really, really good product to have, especially for, for pet owners on the go. Next item would be a first aid kit. So actually, sa amin, meron naman kaming first aid kit na, syempre, pantao, pero naglalagay lang rin ako ng dalawang items doon for our pet. So, dalawang items na dinadala ko. So, one is tiptic powder in case masugatan siya and nagbibleed. Second would be a pet balm or pet salve na pwede kong i-rub sa mga areas kung saan siya pwedeng may may either insect bite, may burn, or what have you. So, multi-purpose bomb na siya. It's also available sa mga Pet Express or mga pet stores. So, yeah. Just ask your vet about uh, a good pet bomb or salve na you can bring. Next item to bring, of course, huwag nyo kakalimutan dalhin ang uh, pagkain ng inyong alaga. So, with us, we actually make Oreos food and who made yung pagkain niya kasi we give him satin balls. So, it depends on you, it depends on your vet kung ano yung pinapakain ninyo sa dog nyo. But if your dog can basically eat anything or sanay sila sa dog food, I would suggest yung nilabas ng Royal Canin na parang food packet siya. Meron din yung IOZ which we tried dun sa huli namin camping and na-notice ko parang mas vet ni Oreo yung IOZ na salmon. Um, it, it comes in a packet so just Labas mo lang siya sa packet and serve. So, it's as easy as that. Kesa doon sa pinapakain namin when we're out at home, na fini-freezer namin siya, mini-microwave namin siya, bago niya pwedeng kainin, na medyo mas mahaba yung process. When you're out camping, limited yung time mo, pagod ka pa. So, of course, um, you find an easier way na to be able to give your pet the sustenance that they need. But, again, I'm not a vet. So, ask your vet kung ano yung food na dapat kinakain ng dog ninyo. I'm just suggesting... Um, other easy ways on how to be able to feed your dog when you're out there. Sa tubig naman, of course, you have to keep your dog hydrated. So, dalawa yung foldable doggy bowls namin. But we are when we are on the go or when you are out hiking, trekking, or what have you. So, ito yung suggestion ko na bowl. Kasi meron, may nabibenta na parang may, may ganun siya. Ewan ko, I'm sure nakita nyo, nyo na yun. Yung para pwede silang uminom doon. Pero, chances are, itatapon mo lang yun ulit. Eh, yung water na yun, yung tira. So, ito, maganda siya kasi when you squeeze it, lalabas na yung water dyan. Kung kunwari man may tira siya, pag binitawan ko, it goes down ulit. So, yeah. Ayan, ganyan. Ewan ko nakikita nyo siya. Parang ganyan. Tapos, yan. Bababa lang ulit yung water. Tapos, dry na siya ulit. Next item would be, of course, uh, pet wipes and poop bags. So, being a responsible pet owner, make sure na magdala kayo lagi ng poop bags. The ones that we have are a little bit pricier than the usual kasi they are biodegradable bags na nabibili siya online since yun nga, plastic siya. And I like the scented ones kasi parang hindi naman ganun ka kajontot yung, yung pinupulot mo. Nakaka, ano rin yung kahit pa paano may amoy yung plastic niya. Okay, now let's move on to tips before camping with your dog. So, number one, 
make sure na updated yung mga bakuna ng inyong alaga. Kasi, keep on going on these trips, tapos na-realize nyo na, ay, okay, hindi pala updated yung mga bakuna ng inyong pet. So, wala silang protection. Pwede pa silang makakuha ng sakit out there or parvo. Huwag naman sana. So, make sure na updated ang bakuna ng, ng mga aso ninyo. Pangalawa, yung rabies. Uh, hindi mo masabi, sa'yo mabait yung aso mo. Baka mamaya may mangyari, may makagat siya. Make sure updated ang bakuna ng aso nyo. I cannot reiterate this enough. Second tip is to ask your vet kung ano ba yung magandang uh, form of maintenance para maprotektahan nyo pa yung inyong alaga because of your lifestyle. So, sa amin, I was very transparent with our vet. Sinabi ko na mahilig kami mag-camping, mahilig siya mag-swimming, mahilig siya mag-ikot-ikot sa kung saan-saan, mag-amoy-amoy, ganyan. Ano ba yung pwede namin ibigay sa kanya to boost his uh, immunity kahit papano. So, what we give him is yung next guard spectra. So, ito yung pinakamahal, I think, to sa next guard na line. But, it helps prevent parasites, heartworm, uh, garapata, galis, lahat. So, yon ang magandang maintenance for your pet. Ask your vet about it. With us, yun yung uh, binibigay namin yun sa kanya every month. Uh, like clockwork, kasi nga, mahilig kami mag-camping, mahilig kami mag-outdoor. So, lagi namin siya kasama pag pinapasyal namin. So, it keeps your pet protect. Another suggestion ko would be to get this one. Ito, nakuha ko lang rin siya sa Pet Express. So, ito yung anti-parasite coat spray ng BioLine. So, this is, ayan, may presyo pa, 349 pesos only. So, all you have to do is just to spray this sa ilalim ng inyong alaga and it helps uh, protect them from mga parasites, mga ticks, fleas, ganyan, mahawa sila sa iba when you're outside. Next tip would be to make sure na lagi nyo nabibigyan ng vitamins yung pets ninyo. And the reason for this is because there would be some pets na naninibago sila sa surroundings nila, therefore, very cautious sila, therefore, ayaw nilang kumain. In our case, ganun actually si Oreo. If he doesn't feel comfortable sa isang lugar, hindi talaga siya kakain. As in, talagang titiisin niya yon. If yung pet niyo wala naman kayong problema, talagang kumakain sila, then better. Pero if may ganitong cases na kunwari ayaw lang kumain, picky eater, choosy, choosy siya, ganyan. Make sure na bigyan nyo siya ng vitamins para kahit papaano, kahit na hindi siya ganun ka lakas kumain during your trip, uh, they're still getting nutrients. Kahit papaano, it helps boost their immunity pa rin kahit papaano. My last tip for you guys would be to check the campsite for rules nila on pets. And make sure na you do a test run if it's your first time camping with a pet. Mag dry run kayo, mag test run kayo, mag picnic kayo somewhere to see how your dog would behave outdoors. Para medyo masana is sana is sila into it. And yeah, I think yun ay last tip na magbibigay. Alright, there you have it guys. I hope you liked today's video and you found it informative. And I hope na if you do have any other uh, comments, suggestions, or mga other tips that you'd like to share, please comment them down below or make a video like this on your channel. I'd fully support it because I want to support yung community natin ng mga campers and nag-share tayo ng mga ideas, ganyan. Especially yung mga tulad nito na marami sa inyo, I'm sure, loves camping with their pets. So, yeah, I hope that you guys found this um, entertaining and useful. I'll link all of the products that I mentioned down below. And thank you for watching. We'll see you again on our next video. Pinilit ko siya, ginising ko siya para lang makapagbabal. <laughs>